At four, Channel 2 Action News has obtained photos of a gun that was used in this week's jail shooting. The gun, along with drugs and cell phones, turned up in a search of jail cells. Channel 2's Tom Regan is live at the Fulton County Jail, where he spent the day working to get answers from the sheriff. Tom. Well, John, I put in a request to Sheriff Ted Jackson for a sit-down interview, or at the very least a statement on the shooting here. And all that contraband was found on the seventh floor. I have yet to hear back. We do, however, as you mentioned, have exclusive pictures of the weapon that was used in the shooting here on Tuesday. This is the small Derringer pistol that was used in the jailhouse shooting inside the seventh floor maximum security wing. It was discovered hidden in a toilet paper roll and stashed behind a ceiling tile with three live rounds still inside. These pictures show how easily the weapon could be concealed. Cortez Hurt allegedly shot another inmate in the hand in a fight over cigarettes and drugs. For now, it's unknown how Hurt got the gun. But a man who twice ran the jail told us he has his suspicions. I would say, given the history of the Fulton County Jail and the fact that officers bringing uh, contraband in, drugs, cell phones, and what have you, in all probability, an officer brought the gun in. It's a very dangerous situation, yeah, not only for uh, inmates being shot, but staff and, and for the community. Well, that gun wasn't the only thing they found in two searches on the seventh floor wing. Coming up at six, I'm working on a story. We have more pictures of what we're told are some of the pounds of pot that were found in that search and nearly two dozen cell phones. Earlier this week, the sheriff said he could not do an interview citing an independent investigation that's now being done, and it's being done by the FBI. Live at the Fulton County Jail on Rice Street in northwest Atlanta, Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News. Incredible stuff, Tom. We'll see you at six.